Alright. We're on Ak. Alright. Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to say call Halal Yum. Yahweh. Bashim. Yahweh Shah. Bashim. Rakak Wadash. Hey, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect, spreading the gospel throughout, throughout the four corners of the earth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scripture teaches too, you know, wherever they may be. And um, shalom to the very, 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 very few sisters that listen up as well. Um, the under brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp. Not the Zakia. Uh, Mario. Yeah, and basically, um, you know, the brothers, you know, the spirit, man, that I was, you know, I was meditating, and I was walking down the street, you know, and the brothers had seen me, and they had scooped me up, the brother down there ran me over, <laughs> no, 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 I was just fucking around, but uh, nevertheless, you know, um, I, I was just in the meditating, man, thinking, you know, about how glorious the kingdom gonna be, man, and I was talking through, on the video chat, with the brother from Australia earlier, man, and, and and I was telling him, man, you know, we then he on the other side of the world, you know, it was like eleven o'clock in Chicago, it was like fucking two two o'clock in the morning over there, you know, it was eleven in the daytime and two o'clock in the morning over there, that shit was weird, but nevertheless, hey, we all going through the same thing, man, for the same goal, and we going through shit that we <laughs> we we deserve more than the, the, than the than the than the bullshit we go through. The Most High deserves to punt. We deserve more punishment from the Most High to actually get something we don't deserve, which is the kingdom of heaven. So, brothers, we got to actually know why we doing this. And when you know why you doing this and you know what you doing it for, it makes this role so easier. And you also know you ain't got control of it anyway, man. All you can do is push the truth, man. But nevertheless, we're going to jump straight into the scriptures, man. Okay, you want this one? Let me see. Oh, I'm starting at 16. Go up. I was thinking about that in the spirit. Go start at 15. Start at 15. Okay, cool. This uh Second Corinthians 4 and 15. It says, For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redoubled to the glory of Yahweh. And then it's, uh, let me, you know what? Let me read up a few verses. Man, I, I, was, just in the, I was thinking about it. You know, I ain't want to drag it, but uh, shit, you know. It be like that sometime. Start it. Let me see. Hold on. Like 14. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. If it be like this sometimes. 13. Start 13. Definitely 13. Yeah, 13. Uh, this second Corinthians uh, 4 and 13. It says, we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I mm. believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak hey we we basically see the witness That's you know right. um because it's it's one in john where it talks about uh, john three where he even goes into basically telling that you know how i was having that uh that conversation with nicodemus he basically said uh verily verily you know what i mean it was just truly truly you know we we see this and he was basically a um witnessing man hey because one this is going to take faith you know what i mean it's another scripture in uh, Ezra, the second Ezra, the uh, first chapter where it talks about we didn't see the prophets basically do all the, the great miracles that the children, you know, the, uh, you know, we've seen in the past, like Moses, you know what I mean? We didn't no, see but all it, that. But it lets you know that they'll be here in the latter days and they'll be here on one accord. Yep. It says, uh, knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. Hmm. That's, that's 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 a glorious thing to look for, man. That's deep, man. Yep. Hey, and hey, knowing knowing that, man, we gotta hey, believe it. It says, "For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of Yahweh." Call out Yahweh, watch him out, shy. Uh, keep going. It says, "For which yeah. cause we faint not, but though the outward man perish, yet the inward man." Is renewed day by day. Hey, and a lot of Jake, you know, you, you gotta understand, you gotta have that mind. A lot of Jake, you know, they they look, they 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 get depressed, you know. And you would do this in this truth, you will get depressed when it look like you you losing in this present evil world. But this is just your inward man being built up, man. And, and you gotta understand, we always say, man, we take small L's, you know, for the big W. This 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 shit is nothing, man. This is your inward man being renewed, man. We can't take none of this shit into the kingdom of heaven. We can't even enter the kingdom of heaven with this mind state. That man has to die for the, the for the new man to be shrinked. 
Go ahead. And I was gonna say, go ahead. Go ahead, it says in a uh, second, uh, or is it, no, uh, Sirach two and five. It says acceptable men yeah. are tried in the furnace of adversity. Mm. An acceptable man is gonna have to go through, you know, these uh, afflictions that the Lord, you know, presents to him, and that's ultimately to uh, uh, purify them, you know, to make them uh, uh, that uh, acceptable sacrifice unto the heavenly Father, mm. you know. Um, uh, verse seventeen says, "For our light affliction." Mm -hmm. And they said it's a light affliction. Hey, the, the brother was uh, saying it, man. Hey, the stuff that we're going through, it says in uh, Ezra 9 and 13, I believe. It. Can you get that real quick? It says in Ezra 9 and 13 that, that we're not even uh, uh, getting punished. Um, I don't want to butcher Can you get it, Doc? It's 9 and 13. Second Ezra? No, Ezra. Ezra. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Mariala, keep that. Oh, keep going. Yeah, you keep that. Ezra 9 and 13. Yeah. Right. This is... Uh, Ezra 9 and verse 13 it says and after all after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds yeah our evil deeds because look the things that that um you know all these punishments that are coming upon us it's because of our own uh, ill you know dealings all the wickedness that we've done and we deserve the worst man yeah. and for all and for our great trespasses seeing that our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve Yep. And has given us as much deliverance as this. Exactly. So the the Lord has punished us less than what we deserve. We we should be put, put to death, man. Hey, the sins that we've committed, we should literally just be just smoked right now in the grave, it, man. It, it wouldn't be nobody to deliver. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But that that shows you the most high his mercifulness. That's why I say, yeah, just as he is great in wrath, so is he in mercy, man. Mm -hmm. This. Yeah. You know, it tell you that in Sirach, man. And so he got this kingdom prepared for us, man. This is, we coming back into that regalia, man, to that ruling class mind state, man. That's why we cutting the things of this world off. Go ahead, Mariel. That's right. It's uh, back in the second Corinthians uh, 4 and 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, mm. work of, for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Mm. Mm. So, so we 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 got a lot of things that's that's being uh, filtered in our body through the, in our mind through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashimi Shai, like like the brother Nazazak was just saying, man, he's making us acceptable men, man. When you get to complaining and on that cornball shit with yourself and beating yourself up for 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 you know your girlfriend walking off into the sun or whatever, whatever the fuck the case may be. You got to understand how about Shimmy how Shai is tightening up the belt. He's trimming the fat. The Lord don't want everybody in the kingdom, man, mm -hmm. on the first round draft pick. He wants acceptable men. I'm going to bring this out. This is Philippians 3 and verse 1. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And that's the pressing to the kingdom of heaven, man. Present your body as a living sacrifice. And as the apostle Paul also said, dying daily. Verse 14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Let us, therefore, as many be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. You got to snap the fuck out of it, man. And, and really lock in and be fully persuaded in, in this truth, man. There's nothing else, man. We occupy in prophecies, man. Yeah. Nothing is out here. You can't even go to the club without a fucking face condom on. <laughs> Let's go, man. You got to, uh, hey. What the fuck, man? <laughs> go, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Don't look at me weird. It's the spirit. It's, <laughs> it's the spirit. You said, Let's go, hey. Because I, I was talking to Shapaya about this. Uh, Shit. And you, hey, through the spirit, hey. You got to let go of this present world, man. You, but you, in, the, in the sense of letting go, man, casting your cares upon your Howard Shy. But he cares for you. I've been watching all, the, all these uh, army movies. All I do is really watch a lot of these fucking, um, like, movies with the, with the value. Like, a lot of these army movies and uh, listen to these, like, prison documentaries and shit. And basically, like, hey, we pilgrims on the earth, man. We POWs. Like, we're not in that, that mindset of fucking uh, looking back, man. Settling Hold, down. Yeah, holding on. You don't got anything to hold on to, and the only thing you got is the truth, it's which it, is the kingdom. It says in the scriptures that uh, this world. Oh man, that, that stop that shit. Oh no, I didn't. So lock you. But uh, it says the fashion of this world. Uh, uh we'll wrap it up. You know, so bypass anyway. it. You know. So the, look, the things that you have in this place, man. It, it says it in the Second Peter's that the the, the works during are going to get burnt up. 
this stuff is gonna go, man. Hey, we, you gotta have that um that mind frame of you know uh, you gotta be kingdom minded. I got the scripture you quoted. Yep. This is uh this is uh second first Salaki, first Corinthians one. The the point is at thirty one, but I'm gonna start at thirty. This is second uh first Corinthians seven and thirty. It says, And they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. We we, we can't mm -hmm. even think about anything at any time except this kingdom. Our mind is, is one tract when it comes to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. It said, And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass it away. That's right. So you do what you gotta do, man. Even in the Lord's prayer, you know, you gotta understand Yahweh Shah was instructing them, man. He said, Give us this day. He was showing them how to uh pray, man, but it was it was an exhortation as well. He was saying, man, and, and an instructional God, man, give us this day our daily bread with nothing is here, man. Yeah. All right. And that was even back then. This is, um, but they came in the tribulous times right after that. Like we coming in now and the things are written for a time. I far learning. I'm going to read another verse. This verse 32, it says, but I will have you without carefulness. There you go. And he that is unmarried carry for the things that belong to Yahweh, how he may please Yahweh. So you got to be as though. You not entangled with anything, like the brother Mariola just said. You watching them war movies, the the one of the, our favorite clips, you know, to bring out and the Apostle of the Ricard always bring it out. The dead, dead presidents, man. That was one of my favorite movies, even coming up in the world. Still is. When he balled that paper up, he said, "Oh man, Chris Tucker told Lorenz Tate, you got a beautiful wife, you got a beautiful daughter in the world, man." He picked up that piece, but fuck that picture. Me thinking about that out here get me killed. I don't think about that shit when I get, if I get back home, man. I'm thinking about that shit. Yeah. Hey, this shit real, man. Yep. Go ahead, brother. So whatever y'all got, man. Damn. You hey, you know what the spirit? <laughs> go to that Hebrews ten and uh ten and thirty. Damn. Hey, it's here, it's, hey, that's the real, mindset man. we in, man. Like that's yeah, the that's shit real. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, man. These brothers been around me for years, man. The type of man I am, and these brothers know. I, if you just talk to me regularly and hang out with me, you would never think I got a woman and three kids. Yeah, I'm not. You would never yeah. even think it. I don't get around the brothers talking about my woman and my my woman ain't coming around the brothers. They are my children. None of that shit. That shit. That shit is folly to me. But that's just me. Hey, like the elder Kazak said, man, your woman and the shit you got going on in the crib, that, that's just another part of the matrix, man. I don't even bring that shit up on wax. I'm just doing it to show you, man. Like, you know, I'm not a rah-rah nigga just talking about this because, oh, this brother ain't in my situation. I am, nigga, and I don't give a fuck about him. Because yeah. I know Salaki and Atazak real that's quick. Because, hey, if this world continue on, your kids can grow up and be broke rich if they wanted to. And you know what that mean. Yeah. You know? Your woman can leave you, man. Your woman can start a fight with you. You whoop her ass or something like that. Don't know. This is not expedient to do, but, you know, you get locked up in the slammer. She do another dick. Esau give her child support, alimony, and all these benefits because she's wicked and committing adultery and, and condemned you, man. Mm -hmm. Wait, why would you care? This shit don't belong to us. We just got it while we here. That's right. Mm -hmm. This the hell with this place, man. Go ahead. Not to I was going to uh, add a quick point. That's why the scriptures just say, you know, 2 Timothy Two, some folly, man. I think it's Second Timothy. Uh, it's either two, yeah, two and three, or two and four. It says that to not entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Gone. He said. Uh, he said that he, he talked about a soldier. Yeah. And, and after he said that, or before he said, commit these things to faithful men. Mm. A lot of you niggas ain't faithful, man. That's why he told Ezra, show it to thee and those like thee. A lot of you Nick, Nick Cannon wasn't ready for this shit, man. And the slew of other weak motherfuckers, man. I'm going I'm to I'm get this, man. You got to count the cost coming into this thing, man. This is Hebrews 10 and 30. It says, for we know him. This is what you wanted, right? Uh, wait, talk, talk. Go to the part where it said about the afflictions. Uh, you, see. you call for it. Yes, uh, 32. Fly. Come on. No, no, it's all good. This is Hebrews 10 and 32. It says, but call to... Remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, and we do that ye, every day, man. God. Like, shit, I got inspired by this brother. Where it's like, hey, you know, you can't see the brother through the camera, but hey, even getting uh, the gains and shit, that they shit, know the Murph. Shit, you, know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish, I wish they had the view, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, like that shit takes it takes real discipline and shit, you know what I mean? Yep. And we, we the disciples, where it's like, hey, you. you 
you got to have you got to be fighting to have your mind locked in to that to that end game, man, which is the kingdom. Hey, you got to watch that movie Kill Bill, man, how she went through the straits, especially volume two. Yeah. When you type in, just even type in the cruel tutelage of Pai Mei when he was teaching her the martial arts, man, and how the shit he was dragging her through. Hey, man, humility comes before honor. But when she was when dude buried her alive and she was on that, that deathbed, man, and she had no option. What did she go back to her training? What he taught her, that, that cruel, mm. brutal shit helped her in that dire straight moment that another person would have just broke for who wanted the comforts of this life, man. You got to take the cruel tutelage of Pai Mei, man. That's what the Lord bringing us through. Okay. You know, it says, um, I'm going to read this uh, Hebrews 10 and 33. It says, partly whilst you were made. Uh, no, 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 it was 32, right? Come on. Hebrews 10 and 32, it says, but call to remembrance the former days in which you in which after you were illuminated you endured a great fight of afflictions man because and then especially when you first come into the thing when you knew you you knew you know you you went through the straits and the shits of casting thing off and cutting your family off and the world and all that shit hey you got to go back to the basics a lot of time in this truth man you know yeah hey that nigga that nigga big sean said in that rap song i don't i think it was i don't fuck with you he said, I stick to my guns. That's what made me this. That's what got me here. That's what made me rich. I stick to the basics. I don't... Hey, man, there's no other way to reinvent the wheel, man. That bitch keep rolling. Hey, then the, uh, the afflictions, affliction and suffering, afflictions and suffering are pretty much synonymous with each other. That, Tell su- that, that affliction and suffering, that might be... Hey, it's a lifetime. Look, read, when you read Job, or you read... I'm it reading the, it right now. It's It's... You know, this is gonna take time. You know what I mean? So, hey, like, we're really in this thing. This is this isn't over overnight. You know what I mean? We fighting the real battle. Hey, hey, that nigga. Hey, when you go into the first definition of this, it says that affliction. It says the first definition said that which one has suffered or suffered. Hey, that's why even DMX said in that song, "Hey, to live is to suffer, but to survive, that's to find the meaning into the suffering." You know, and we surviving in this in this in this thing, man. Huh. And it's worth, and it's and it's and it's way worth it, man. I'm not bothered, man. You know, I'm, this is this, this shit don't bother me. Like I'm fine. I know what I'm going through it for. So, like the games. so we can return harder. Man, this shit real, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm done. Like, I'm done. What, what I'm are done. we looking forward to in this? I ain't motherfucker. finna have a talk show with Jake ass. No, but Come, I mean, oh. if y'all got some more. No, no yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. Come, verse 33, Hebrews 10 and 33. It says, partly wish ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly will she became companions of them which were so used. Hey, and we are the gazing stock, man. Yep. You know? You, we we got to, hey, man, let me find that, man. Go go ahead. Say, talk your oh, shit. And Lord, and Lord willing, uh, uh, where it <laughs> says, uh, hey, companions of them that so used, Lord willing, we're the elect, man. Lord willing, we're the ones out there that are lifting up the, the feet. Right. You know what I mean? Say, I, I brought this out, of course, that we be those men because, hey, Somebody's got to do it, man. Hey, how was shot did it for us? If somebody, hey, we still got, you know, we got that debt to pay, but it's like, hey, man, we're laboring to be the elect. And you there's know? nothing wrong with that, man. Because if you stay here, really, you just want to see Jake. At the end of the day, the niggas who want to stay here just want to see Jake suffer. Like, all right, we get, we, we know why we suffering. You know what I mean? Righteous sake. But these people, you know, this whole world is just fucking covetous. It's BS. Wicked, man. It's wicked, man. It's just wicked, man. It's the scripture say that this is, the, this is land that's bearing the fate. Yeah. It's took the present evil world. This shit, this. Nothing's good here. That's why he quoted the Peter, the second Peter earlier. And that's the first scripture I ever heard the Apostle Elder Kabbalah break down. The Apostles break down, man. This place, this this place has to be burnt, man, with thermonuclear fire, man. We looking for a kingdom well and dwell in righteousness. Cause mm-hmm. ain't none here. Yeah. Look at the commercials on TV, and they even said that you got a bacon commercial, a shaving commercial. You got a Nambler damn near commercial, man. Everything is fucking sexualized, man. Mm-hmm. This is foolishness, man. This le- entanglement, man. The most high is about to crush this place, man. I'm going to just bring you out this scripture, man. And if y'all brothers got something else, you know, you know, I don't, I don't you know, I don't go too long winded with it, man. This is, uh, but this, y'all got it, you know. This is 1 Timothy 1, Salaki. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 9. It says, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Ex- acceptation. It says, for, for therefore we both labor 
and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. So we labor, going back to what the brother was going into with the Hebrews, yeah, we labor and we suffer that reproach, man. You know, like 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 it, it describes Yahweh Shai in the book of Isaiah, man. But by his stripes, by his reproach, by his stripes, we was healed, man. Mm-hmm. So we got we, we to gotta drink of that cup, as it says in the gospel, man. Yep. Uh, all right, it's, uh, hold on, let's go. Uh, what, what you need? Go back to that Hebrews, like two more verses. Come, come. What was that? We was at the 10th chapter, right? Yeah, 10 and uh, I think like... I got it. I got. I know where he's at in it. Um, this uh, verse 34, Hebrews 10 and 34, it says, For he had compassion of me and my bonds, and I took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Hey, they nothing. I, this is all temporary, man. The mm-hmm. brother said it. We just get. Hey, this thing is gonna be burnt up, man. It says, "Cast not away." Verse thirty-five. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which ye have great recompense of reward. Come, on. and hey, that's the thing, man. Hey, you gotta go on this thing day by day, man. Just keep fighting. You know what I mean? See, the thing is, hey, because I, I thought about this today because the brother brought it up, and I didn't even really. It, it, it didn't really dawn on me. We've been in the truth. You said we got in the truth at like what? When you were like 22? Mm-hmm. So that's got to be like eight years maybe. Yeah. Eight years go by and it's like, you know, still not in the kingdom. But it's like you see it. But you know what I mean? But then it's man, like. You see it crumbling, man. Yeah. It's crumbling, man. <laughs> this shit's real, bro. It's, it's crumbling, man. This, yes. this place is being turned to a ball. And then Jake, you know, they get pressed. And, hey, I got anxieties. <laughs> man, I didn't even know what the <laughs> fuck that word meant to 2000. Bro, I'm 32 years old, man. <laughs> Straight up, man. You know, I came into the knowledge of of, of, of being a Hebrew Israelite in, in this shit when I was 19 years old, man. I never even heard the word exact. I don't know what the fuck that mean. God. What the fuck? Hey, man, we the men of the Lord, man. We ain't got no fucking anxiety, man. Everything we ask for is happening right now. What you mad about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that's been my Nigga, this shit with... real. Man, this shit real, man. Come <laughs> hey, God, yeah, hey. hey, let me read this 35 over, man. Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. You got to have faith, man. Yeah. You you got to be with the spirit. The Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah ain't with these niggas, man. He ain't with the white man. He ain't with the black woman. He damn sure ain't with these nigga nuggets in the street, man. Take your best shot. I Take your best fucking shot. Let them. Which have great confidence... Of reward, Salaki, great recompense of reward. This is the payback of the elect. It says, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai ain't one of these niggas running a pyramid scheme, man. He ain't trying to get your money, man. He's saving you, nigga. He ain't got a lie to you like a nigga. The Lord is not, not man that he should lie, man. He don't have to, he can just judge you. He can deliver you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We gotta have, you gotta you gotta have balls, man, when you're a man of the Lord, man. This is the testimony. <laughs> you know, you gotta have faith. You gotta have confidence as a man of the Lord. Hey, you gotta be bold, man. Some Jake too cautious, man. Yeah, it's a balance. You walk on eggshells in this truth, but at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck shit. The scripture tell you in judges, hey, yeah, the, the Lord be with you. Oh mighty man of valor, man. Hey, hey. I feel like a man of I don't give a fuck. I think the Lord with me. I'm going into battle. Hey, that Joshua 1 and 9. If you read Joshua 1 and 9, it's basically a commandment to have faith, to be of uh, good courage. Shit, man. This shit real, man. Hey, and Josh, that was right after Moses. So basically, Moses had died, then Joshua took Moses' seat. He was his, his successor, man. Yep. You know? And Joshua and Caleb, man, it was wild, man. They had balls, man. And this is Joshua 1 and 9. It says, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For Yahweh, thy power is with you, whithersoever thou goest. Oof. There you go. God. There you go. We got, Damn. We if got you stressed fear. out, then you don't feel the Lord with you. That's my take on it. Shit. God. And if you stressed out and the Lord with you. 
Shit, it's, it's for the kingdom's sake. Hey, but it, it's real. It's a win-win situation, man. Hey, Mount up, nigga. It, it's real because, like, you know, brothers talk, right? I, I made real, a, nigga. I made a lesson. I told this brother, and I made the lesson, like, a day or two after. I was like, man, I'd be complaining too much, right? Because, like, it, it's through the spirit. I was like, the Lord knows what we need. Hey, the Lord, you know, hey, the spirit makes that, uh, that groaning for us, right? It makes that uh, intercession. The intercession to the Lord. So the Lord, really, y'all about shimmy on shot nose, right? But a lot of this shit, we just got to deal with it, man. And every time I talk to uh, basically a brother, like I was talking, let's say it again, I talked to Shapai. He said, hey, gotta, I be going through shit. I, I don't really tell brothers. You know what I mean? I know we all got our fucking. Uh, me neither. Our flesh. <laughs> he said, ain't no point. I ain't putting you niggas in my business. <laughs> I don't want to hear y'all business. The brother said, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Do the work. Go ahead. I don't care about that. The brother said, hey, but no, I got the three fights with my baby mama. I don't care about oh, that shit. Me, 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 go, go ahead, go ahead. It's like, yes, it is. But it goes back to that scripture because I remember hearing a video that uh, you made a while back. It's, it, it, um, it, um, that's rock. That take no heaviness to heart, man. You can't. Yeah. Just, just fucking deal with this shit. Hey, gir- the scriptures say, gird up your loins. I demanded of thee, man. The Lord said that to Job after he was going through how. Uh, all Lord. this shit, all these afflictions, man. God. Go uh, uh, dealing with w- a worse situation than, than you're dealing with, man. He still told Job, gird up your damn loins, man. Be a man. God, God knows. Hey, the only person in the scriptures that got it worse than Job was Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Job, because cause you really got to think, man. The mindset and the masculinity that Job had, man. You never, you would never even know what it felt like to even be Job. The riches that Job had, you would never on this side. Ain't nobody on this side ever been rich as Job. Never had their house in order like Job. Not even a woman. And look what this woman was on. So you, you, go ahead, Mariala. Hey, the first thing that we read that uh, he wrote that back in Hebrew, real, it man. said, uh, hey, to have compassion on in the spoiling of my goods. Going back to like, this, our oh, nickel is, uh, Basically saying uh, our iniquity, we getting less than our iniquity deserve, man. And hey, that's the thing, man. Look, we we just gotta abide in the fear and mercy of y'all by Shimei and Shai and just endure it to the end. Come. You know, long long story short, but they, hey, cause a lot of shit that we go through, you gotta applying that wisdom, man. I'm, I'm before I butcher it. What's basically the uh, basically just applying the wisdom and, and uh, knowing the scriptures, man. Believe in the Lord with us. You know, I'm not tempting the Lord with a bunch of dumbass shit. Right, man. exactly. That's the balance to it. Hey, man, Proverbs 3 and 5, man. Trust in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah with all thy heart and lean not to their own understanding. Bro, you know, we see this motherfucker it, fall. I'd be like, bro, I'd be like, certain things, you know, that we worry about, but then you got to say, hey, you got to let the Lord deal, man. Because, hey, we the workmen. You know, the man, the Lord, the, through the Spirit, we, we what, like, 10, 20, we ain't in the fucking like 10 weeks at this, like 10 months of fucking COVID. COVID-19. You got other people right now who are starving. You got people who are losing everything. This place is really crumbling, but the Lord is like day by day, hey, just renewing us and make sure we got that daily bread. You're right. Man, we're straight. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm done, man. I've been hyped on this shit too long, man. This shit real, man. Hey, call all of y'all about shimmy. I was yeah, shy. Yeah, and we hope this was edifying. Uh, Hey man, call a lot yeah, me out yeah, by Shimon Shai. A double honest, the apostles, the elders of uh, Great Millstone, that person is truth, and all truth is sincerity. Of course, salutation to all you uh, Akim out there as well. Um, hey, Yahweh Mar and the Bible Ball. Hey, Bible Ball, man.